Hello, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. I never thought we'd see the day where we would be panning for silver and wastewater. Specifically, in this case, laundry wastewater. Well, it seems to be the case, according to this original story from the American Chemical Society, several silver nanoparticles are being used in clothing for, an for their anti-odor abilities. That Most of us knew that. But some of this silver comes off when the clothes are laundered. The wastewater from the process could end up in the environment, possibly harming aquatic life. So researchers, researchers have attempted to recover the silver. Now one group reports in ACS Sustainable Chemistry and Engineering that detergent chemistry plays a significant role in how much of the silver can be removed from laundry wastewater. Some clothing manufacturers incorporate silver nanoparticles into their products because these tiny bits of metal can kill odor-causing bacteria. But researchers have found that some of that silver is washed away as the garments are laundered. These silver nanoparticles can be toxic to many aquatic organisms and can impact the effectiveness of bacterial processing in wastewater treatment plants. But recovering the nanomaterial from laundry water isn't an easy process because of low concentrations of silver in the water. High concentrations of competing ions and an uncertainty as to which exact forms of silver are present. A previous research by Sukhalin Septugsegupta and Tabish Nawash showed that ion exchange technology is highly selective for silver, but this study did not examine the role of detergent chemistry, which could interfere with this method. So that's what they wanted to examine in the current report. And you know, it's interesting because in that paragraph, it talks about that there's such small amounts. I kind of doubt that really it's going to have that much effect on aquatic life out there. Uh, the researchers analyzed how silver interacts with individual detergent ingredients. The team found that silver mainly exists in a positively charged ion, and this form will interact with several detergent compounds under certain conditions. For example, the positive charged silver ion will interact with the negatively charged ions and the detergent at different pH ranges. The group also used an ion exchange resin, which recovered as much as 99% of the silver depending on the pH and concentration of the competing ions. The resin was then tested with detergent compounds and reused over five cycles, and it maintained the ability to remove silver. But the addition of products, such as bleaching and water softening agents, negatively impacted the f efficiency of the resin. And uh, not only that, but the other thing is, is what about those other agents, such as bleach and water softening agents, could possibly have a counter uh, effect on the environment, worse than that which the silver would create. Not only that, but it seems like the solution would be is to find a, a silver-friendly uh, detergent, a detergent that will remove the dirt but not the silver from the clothes. Seems like that should be really the focus of effectiveness. But uh, nonetheless, quite an interesting article. And if this, this does prove to be effective, not only environmentally, but also uh, cost-wise, then uh, this kind of technology and uh, advance could mean making it easier to recover silver from other applications and other uses, repatriating that silver for other uses uh, in the coming shortage. And it just means that, you know, depending on the price of silver, there will be a way, and already we're seeing this as one example of a way to recover silver um, and that silver is not lost, just like gold is not lost. It's, it can always be reconstituted and reformed, as we saw with the Nobel Peace Prize situation in Nazi Germany. Well, and actually that was in the Netherlands, Nazi-controlled Netherlands, in a previous video. Uh, quite interesting indeed how silver can be recovered and uh, how it can be panned in laundry wastewater. So post your thoughts below about this article and what you think about the technology. I think this is actually a pretty important uh, article because it just goes to show you that there is technology out there and that silver can be recovered even in situations where one would think that it would be lost forever.
Post your thoughts below. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to y'all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe. Yeah.